Hey there, it's Santari from Trustmary. And today I thought I'd show you how to install our widgets to your WordPress site with our WordPress plugin. So the first thing you'll need to do is create a widget if you haven't already. So go to widgets in your Trustmary and select whichever widget you would like to use. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to name it something that I can tell it apart from others. Okay, now we have a widget. We can go back. And at this time, we'll need to jump to WordPress. So let's go to WordPress. And in here, go to the plugin section. And under that, you can see the add new plugin selection. Go there and search Trust Mary from the plugins. Here you can see our plugin. You can click install now. And after it's installed, you can activate it here. Okay, so now we have the plugin active right here. So next up, we'll need to install the API key to this plugin. So we'll go to the plugin itself here in the navigation bar, and it will prompt us to sign up or add the API key. You have already signed up, so let's click this one. Here we have the spot where the API key is to be copied. And at this point, we'll need to jump back to Trustmary. So let's go there. And from the top left here, you can see there's a drop down menu. And in the drop down menu, you'll find settings. Go to settings and then from settings to the developers tab. Right there. And here we can see the API keys section. There are none at the moment, so I'll just add a new one here. And again, just name it something that you can tell it apart from others. Click save. And you'll be presented with the API key. This can be copied with the button down here. OK, now that we have the key, we'll go back to WordPress and paste the key in here. Then we can just click Save Changes here, and your organization name should show up there, showing that the installation is OK. Then we'll need to go to the plugin options here and uh, click Inline Widgets, as it was an inline widget uh, that we created before. If you need to install pop-ups, you can see them right there. And we'll stick to this one in this guide. And now you can see the ID, name, and short code of the widget we've created. Here, it pays off to name the widget something distinguishable. But in here, we'll need the short code, which you can copy simply by clicking on it. Then we'll need to navigate to a page. I'll just grab the home page here. But in this case, we're using the default editor of WordPress. And in this case, we can just simply paste the short code anywhere and it will automatically recognize it as short code. Then once we're happy with that, we can simply click update here. Once the updates are done, we can view the page and our widget should be visible right here. So that's about it. It's that simple. Thank you for watching.